Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here coming to you today with our bunny update. Yesterday I, I, I gave a quick little update because we just got back from Houston and uh, it's like, uh, let's see, it's 1019 right now so I am out and about late. I just made a little video about the the ducklings. I'm thinking, I, thinking I'm going to try to do daily updates on them just for the first couple of weeks just to show how fast they grow. And then maybe go to like a, after a couple of weeks, go to weekly updates. Um, but uh, here I've got our rabbits, a uh, bunch more in here. There is a, uh, let's see, there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them right now. And uh, since there's not a lot of grass to eat, I have got to add another feeder. They've got big enough to where this feeder has to be filled up uh once a, more than once a day now it seems like because uh last night they just uh finished it off and there's hunger for breakfast this morning put it in i'm gonna i'm gonna watch it because my my dad was the one taking care of him so uh i know he had came out here every day i don't know if he filled it completely all the way full every day or not um so i'm gonna check it today at the end of the day and make sure that they're getting plenty to eat because we don't want to uh have any growth rates stunted want to get them uh to butcher weight as fast as we can but uh, as you can see i went ahead down there on the other pens added a bucket with a watering system which i should have done a long time ago and brought the all these bottles up here just so that way my dad wouldn't have to worry about changing out a whole lot of waters but uh anyway we've got a meeting and everything i'm gonna get the scale ready over here i've came out here to start Tending to everybody, make sure everybody's got everything they need. And uh, I know last night I didn't get a chance to weigh them, so today we're going to weigh them and see see what we've got. Let's zero this pot out here. Uh, there we go. And let's get one of our rabbits that's got the black mark in their ear, which they're pretty easy to tell. They're a good, good bit bigger than the rest. Here we are. Come here, little sister. Let's put you in the pot for a minute and just see how much you weigh. Huh, it cut off. Well, uh, let's try that again. Let me just tuck her here in the crook of my arm. Do all this one-handed. There we go. All right, let's go to the mode here and get our pounds. There we go. And let's put you in there, see where we're at. Huh. Well, let me pause the video and figure what's figure out what's going on with the scale here real quick. All right, there we go. Got the scale fixed now. We're at 3.7 pounds, so probably a couple more weeks of growth. It's going to take probably at like 10 weeks. Those will be at the 5 pound mark. That's what commercial rabbitries look for. Uh, let's see here, hold on clear that off there but uh that's what most of the commercial rabbitries look for is the five pound mark at uh 10 or not 10 weeks but eight weeks now uh one guy that i know that did it and like formulated his own feed he had a mix a uh, very special specific formula at the uh at the feed mill where he bought and I think he was raising uh, like a few hundred does and, you know, was raising, uh, you know, over a thousand rabbits uh, per cycle. But uh, I, I got to talk to him for a good while and he said that the butcher where he went to take his rabbits, all the ones that were, you know, the, he had to have a five pound uh, uh weight gain to 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 bring them in you know you couldn't bring anything smaller than that and you didn't want anything bigger just because that was the, the 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 ideal weight for the industry for the customer so he'd bring his in and the the, the guy who processed them there said that his were the only ones that were eight weeks old um so he put in a ton of work to get it to where it, it, it needed to be he said that everybody else was pretty much 
uh, bringing them in after, you know, 10 to 16 weeks. And, uh, which, you know, I mean, really and truly, uh, it, uh, unless you're competing with rabbitries that are doing it commercially, I don't see any need to try to chase that. If it's something you want to do and, you know, want to do it for a, uh, uh, just, you know, a personal goal or whatever, just cause you want to see how, how quickly you can get them raised up. Uh, yeah, that's great. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, these rabbits here, I'm thinking it's probably going to be 10 weeks. Um, and now they've only really been fed pellets. So, uh, and I, and I did, I had one guy, this was back several videos ago, mentioned about raising waterers up. And so I never heard of that. He was talking about raising them up. At, uh, I'm trying to remember the guy's uh, name that left the comment, but I'm not going to be able to. Um, but it was a good comment because it uh, made me look into it. He said something about putting them at shoulder height. That's really where they were in the video, but I looked into um, the eight inches and above, and apparently there's been studies that say that they'll drink more, which helps more for digestion. So I'm starting to raise all my waters up above the eight inch mark you know at least eight inches because when they stand up it's something about the way they drink i didn't look too much into it but i'm gonna see if that doesn't do anything to help but um with my rabbits too i'm looking at later on doing uh more of the fodder systems just to be more uh, self-sufficient in that and the rabbits themselves when they're when they come from big litters, you know, seem to grow slower. But as I've thought more and more about that, you know, the having the smaller litters, I think I might be breeding more for larger litters now, just because I'm not really going to care about them having the small size for longer if I raise them out to be older. Um, I think it's uh, uh, it's. Let me check. Let me check the channel real quick. Let me pause the video and make sure I'm not going to lie about the name of the channel. All right, I'm back. I had to had to look. I didn't want to get the YouTube uh, channel name wrong. I thought it was Heavenly Goats Dairy, but it's Heavenly Dreams Dairy Goats. Um, she had left a, a comment saying that they let theirs get up to like eight pounds because they like to have more meat on them. And you know, as a homesteader, I mean, really, you ain't got to go with all the, the 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 industry standards. Yes, now the five pounds will give you a very tender rabbit, super easy to process. But you know, I processed one of our older does. Um, well, I say older, it's just probably like a year or so, just, you know, calling out some of the ones that I didn't want. And uh, she she was fairly easy to, to, to process, wasn't anything like tough on her. And uh, just had, it, it was really kind of weird. Like the, the meat had a richer smell. It was, um, not like a bad smell, but a uh, uh, almost like a chicken noodle soup kind of smell. You know, when you got like really good chicken noodle soup, that's how the meat smelled when I cleaned her. So, um, and she was absolutely delicious. So, um, yeah, you know, get them to the weight that you want. This this series right here is going to be specifically for the five pound mark. That's what we're going to try to get them to. Um, and try hopefully get that at under 12 weeks if we don't we'll see um but i i really like the feed that i give the non-gmo the uh, tucker milling um but you know next year will be a whole new series of experiments and seeing you know more and more how rabbits do on fodder i really wish that when i got my first breeding stock that i would have documented uh, how they did on the mulberry leaves because that was just absolutely incredible the mulberry leaves they ate just tons and tons of that i think for the first because i got them in the spring i think for the first like few months i didn't even buy a pellet uh and i mean they you know grew but the buck ended up being a i think he ended up being like 11 pounds and the does were somewhere around like 10 to 12 pounds so i mean they they, they grew fine they grew to a healthy adult weight and uh, have produced just tons of babies. So um, in this, in this, you know, it's not necessarily that you have to do the five pound weight uh, benchmark, but 
uh it's 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 definitely something to shoot for because they are really tender they're super easy to clean i've even done them a little bit younger than that just for if they weren't quite at the five pound mark if they were of a litter and say there was one that was kind of a runt go ahead and process it you know so anyway hopefully i didn't get too rambly hopefully it was uh, valuable information if you got any questions uh comments down you know uh, leave those down below if you've got uh any uh insights uh about you know the weights of rabbits and where you personally like to eat them i know that some of the older rabbits i like the way they taste better so uh you know that's that's something to consider but anyway if you haven't already subscribed to this channel go ahead and do that if you found the video helpful leave that like and i appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one